guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we have one of the most exciting 2020 Collect Day figures to review, and this is their Lissawissia. And this is a figure that I have been so unbelievably excited for, but at the same time very impatiently awaiting its arrival. And it in person here absolutely has blown me away. It is just as beautiful in person as far as I'm concerned, as the promotional images led me to believe. And such an incredibly obscure species to have created here in figure form by Collect Day, which is one thing that you can almost always say about Collect Day, because they do tend to always create these off-the-wall obscure species that you otherwise probably wouldn't get figures of. And I am always incredibly thankful to Collect Day for that reasoning, especially an animal like this, which was potentially the size of, like, modern-day elephants. So... It's such a very strange looking creature, but at the same time, an incredibly beautiful animal. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get a closer look at it right now. So looking at the head sculpt straight away, you can see how incredible the detailing is on this. Beautiful skin texture all over this animal. You can see how incredibly well done the actual sculpting here is from Collect Day. You can also make out the ear right there. And on the lower jaw, you can see the jaw is articulated. And on the lower jaw, you can see they've given it like a very nice kind of dark coloration to dry brush over top of the animal. And it is that same style the entire way through the underside of it. And I think it looks really, really cool the way they've done that. But up here on the top of the head, first of all, you can see a really beautiful appearance as far as like the entire bone structure of the animal. But you can see how really nicely detailed around the eye is and how beautiful that eye itself is given a nice blackish coloration and beautifully glossed it looks extremely extremely realistic honestly almost looks like it is a real eye just kind of staring at me it's that lifelike there with the way that collect day has painted it extremely extremely well done you can see the nostrils up here as well and you can even see within like this beak-like mouth you can see lots of really beautiful detail included lots of little tiny cracks and crevices and everything included within and you can see some nice color variation you have like a darker brown and that leads down here onto the lower jaw but you can also see like some variations of brown creeping within so they've done a pretty good job as far as the coloration goes you can even see a little bit of an alternate brown right there and then we get to the primary body color and that's almost like a linen type of a coloration and then up here on the top of the head you have like a speckling type of a look all over the figure and then on top of that you also have like this speckling of like a brown on the side and that all kind of blends together with like this light coloration it's almost like a white speckling up here which is a lot finer of a speckling as opposed to this sort of like spotting here on the side of the figure. Once we open the mouth, the articulated jaw does work really nicely. You can see it's nice and smooth the way it works. We can look inside the mouth. The detailing inside the mouth also looks really, really nicely done. Absolutely beautiful. You can see the tongue in there and the tongue is actually quite nicely textured. You can even see like the back of the mouth and all that fun detail. The sort of skin flaps here on the inside of the mouth also are nicely sculpted out, nicely detailed, and the entire inside of the mouth is painted with like a pinkish coloration, which also looks really well done. Very nice color choices as far as I'm concerned for the inside of the mouth, and again, the jaw articulates really, really well, which is a huge plus for this figure. Once you start to move back into the body, you can continue to see how really nicely sculpted out the skin texture of the animal is. You can almost see like some tensing here in the neck region of our Lissawissia. And then down here, you can see some more beautiful detailing within the shoulder blade. You can also pick out the shoulder blade kind of protruding from the skin a little bit right there. Some nice skin folding going on here as the animal's pushing its leg back into the body there, bunching that skin up a little bit. As you move down here into the leg, you can see how beautiful that skin texture looks as we move into the foot. The feet are painted very nicely with that nice dry brushing and the nails are painted as well with a blackish coloration, which do appear to be really nicely done. Even the underside of the feet are actually sculpted quite nicely. Moving back up into the stomach region, you can see some more beautiful sculpt as far as that skin texture goes. And those kind of very light white speckles now have run down into the stomach region as well. You can see some more really nice skin detail right there as that skin is kind of stretching off of the rear leg. Beautiful hip bone is present right there as you move up into the body. You can see again how it all kind of blends together here with like that brown spotting and then this white speckling. It looks really, really cool. Definitely an interesting paint job. I would not have thought about this kind of a paint job, and I think Collecte had a very good mindset coming into this and did pick a very nice natural-looking paint scheme for it. 
As we move back here into the leg, you can see some muscle tone there as far as the thigh and calf region actually. And then the skin texture again looks really beautiful in that leg. Very nice nails on the rear foot as far as that blackish coloration that's been added. Beautiful foot sculpt overall. Looking at the hind end of our animal, you can see some more really nice detailing as well as that little tail that sticks out there. And then looking at the opposing side, the animal is almost in sort of a neutral position as the head is almost perfectly straight out, but you can see it has a little bit of a right turn to it, but there's not really too much difference on this side as opposed to what we had seen on the previous side. But looking again at it very closely, you can see how incredibly well done that skin texture is the whole way through. Just look at the really beautiful like skin detail as far as like the skin folding and everything going on here with this front leg, the skin sort of stretching off of the leg, but the really beautiful like creases and everything in the skin looks very, very nice, especially right here as this leg is bent quite nicely, and you move down here into the foot sculpt again, nicely dry brushed, beautifully painted nails. Once again, very nice foot sculpt there. As we move back up into the body, you can again see that sort of tensing in the neck like I had stated we had seen on the previous side. Again, the shoulder blade is present right there. Beautiful sculpt as far as the skin texture up here as well, even the higher into the body you get. And you can sort of pick out the spinal column as it runs down the animal. You can also take note to the fact that it does have quite a bit of girth in the stomach region, so it is nicely fed. It is not any type of a starving animal. And when we move back here into the rear leg, again, very nice muscle tone in the thigh and calf. Again, beautiful skin detail as far as the reacting of the skin there with the movement of the rear leg sort of bunching that skin up a little bit there. This leg is definitely further forward than the opposing leg, and that's the same for the front leg as well. You can make out the kneecap right there, and as we move down into the foot, once again, another absolutely beautiful foot sculpt here with some nicely painted nails on the rear side. And then if we look at the underside, again, the detail looks incredibly nice the entire way through. Very nicely dry brushed to bring out all that detail. Collecte absolutely doing a tremendous job in every aspect of this 2020 line. This might be one of their best lines of all time. And you can see that this Lissawissia is absolutely one of the best figures to come out. Potentially my favorite. You can even see that they've given you some detailing back here that makes sure that this is very nice and anatomically correct. But again, an absolutely gorgeous figure, a really nice choice as far as a species goes. And again, like I said, potentially my favorite collect day figure for the year of 2020. An absolutely incredible release. As far as a size goes for a length, you are looking at about 7.5 inches or 19 centimeters. And for a height, the highest point is going to be the back, about 4 inches or 10 centimeters. And then to the top of the head, about 3 inches or around 8 centimeters for a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our very large Collect A Lissawissia. And next to these figures, you'll hopefully have a good idea that this figure does sport some really significant size to it and overall is very impressive in both size and weight, actually. It does sport some pretty good weight to it as well, so a very impressive figure in almost every aspect is this incredible 2020 Lissawissia. So this collect a 2020 Lissawissia, on top of being one of the most surprising choices from collect a as far as which figures they were making for this year, is also top of the line as far as what figures were actually my favorites. And again, I think this takes the cake as far as my favorite figure because on top of being such an obscure species, it really is amazing that we even have a figure of this species. And luckily for us, Collect Day were the ones that chose to make it. But it just overall is one of the most appealing looking figures, I think, from the entire line so far that I've looked at. It really looks gorgeous as far as the sculpt work goes. There's nothing crazy going on with the pose. It just kind of looks like it's walking along nice and calm. It doesn't look angry. It doesn't look hurried or scared or anything. It just looks like it's kind of walking along, enjoying its day. And again, considering the size of this animal, there probably wasn't too much for it to be afraid of during the time that it was alive. But uh, again, really nice, very calm looking nature to the sculpt overall as it just kind of appears to be wandering along. But the minute detailing of the sculpt, again, is really beautiful. Very nice skin texture. And they've done a great job of, again, just like Collect A always does, really paying attention to, like, skin folding and skin stretching and the way the movement would be shown throughout the sculpt. And they always portray that perfectly, in my opinion, throughout each and every sculpt that they create. 
So on top of having a very nice, really beautiful, realistic, kind of calm approach to the positioning of the body, they have beautiful, minute detail included as well when it comes to the sculpting of this figure. I think the paint is off the charts as far as a Collect Day figure goes because I think it's probably my favorite paint job of the 2020 year as well. It has a really nice, kind of like a khaki linen type of a brown for the majority of the body. I wouldn't really say khaki, more like a linen type of a brown, a variation of brown. And then you have like a darker brown that kind of spots all over the figure. And then on top of that, you also have like this really neat looking white speckling that is just all over the figure. And it's like a very kind of fine type of a speckling, a lot more speckling going on with that white than there is with the brown. But with them mixed together, it does look really cool and was a very nice choice on the part of Collect Day as far as what coloration to make the figure as well as a beautiful dry brushing on the entire lower half of the animal on the legs and the lower jaw and the stomach region with a darker coloration brings that detail out in that area as well really beautifully. And if you actually look at the figure, that kind of linen type of a brown isn't the only coloration that you see. You actually have some beautiful shading and everything done with darker coloration included by Collect Day. So they've done a great job in that aspect and also a beautiful brown there for the beak area of the animal as well. So lots of really nice color variation included. Very nice, very dark, realistic tones of color that I think would have really looked natural on this animal. And you can also see that the eye is painted to perfection with a beautiful gloss coat and looking extremely realistic, which is one thing that Collect Day does always seem to do is include very lifelike, realistic eyes on their figures. And the addition of an articulated jaw also really is awesome because you now have an area of articulation included with your figure to give you different options as far as displayability goes. So if you would like to pick this up, I do believe it is currently available on Mini Zoo and will be available on Everything Dinosaur very soon if it is not already. So make sure you check one of those two websites and pick yourself up this unbelievable Collect Day Lissawissia today. And before you go doing all that, make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.